We're asked, are the vectored valued functions x1 and x2 linearly independent or dependent? In this lesson, we'll show two ways to determine whether the vectored valued functions are linearly independent or dependent. Looking at the notes below, first we have the vectored valued functions x1 through xn are linearly independent when c1 times x1 plus c2 times x2 all the way through plus cn times xn equals a zero vector has only the solution c1 equals c2 all the way through cn equals zero for all values of t. Taking this approach, we begin by writing the vector equation, which again is c1 times x1 plus c2 times x2 equals a zero vector. From here we write the corresponding system of equations, which gives us two c1 e to the negative t plus three c2 e to the three t equals zero, and at negative two c1 e to the negative t plus four c2 e to the three t equals zero. Notice in this case, if we add the two equations together, the first two terms will simplify out, which gives us seven c2 e to the three t equals zero. e to the three t is never equal to zero. This indicates that c2 must equal zero. And now going back to either equation, if c2 is equal to zero, for example, in the first equation, we're left with two c1 e to the negative t equals zero. And again, e to the negative t is never zero, indicating c1 must also equal zero. The vector equation only has the solution c1 equals c2 equals zero for all values of t, indicating the two vector valued functions are linearly independent. The second method we can use involves a Ronskian. Looking at our second set of notes below, given n vectors with n components, x1 through xn, we form the matrix x, where the matrix x is formed by using the vectors as the columns. Then we find the determinant of matrix x, which is called the Ronskian. If the determinant doesn't equal zero, the vectors are linearly independent. If the determinant equals zero, then the vectors are linearly dependent. Notice this method only works when matrix X is a square matrix or an n by n matrix. In this case, our vector X will be a two by two matrix, where again the columns are X1 and X2. And now we find the determinant. The determinant is equal to two e to the negative t times four e to the three t, which is equal to eight e to the two t, and then minus three e to the three t times negative two e to the negative t, which gives us minus negative six e to the two t. Simplifying, we have 14 e to the two t, which is not equal to zero, showing once again, the two vector value functions are linearly independent. I hope you found this helpful.